Hey guys and welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me on this Star Citizen video. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this CSV SM and why I actually decided to go ahead and pick this up, right? So we do quite a bit of bunker running in our group and I thought, you know, in the bunkers where we're kind of, we land far away and stuff, I found that this is probably going to be really useful. Now, my main concern up front was, number one, is it fast enough? You know, if I park way away from like a facility, is it going to move fast enough for me to be worth it to like drive into the facility with my, uh, you know, crates and stuff, my uh, containers to actually do the looting with? And the answer is, yeah, it's actually pretty decently fast. And I'll show you that uh, here in just a minute. Um, my second main concern was how well does it actually fit in my C1? My C1 is my main daily driver. I absolutely love the ship and the design and everything. And I love the room and the hangar bay. And let me put your uh, worries at rest because it actually fits in the C1 very well. And I'm actually going to show you that here in just a few minutes. So, like I said, um, I actually was going to use this for bunker running. Now, I had a Pulse LX laying around, and that's how I decided to use to upgrade it. It was a simple upgrade. But it's probably going to be something that I upgrade from, right? Um, you don't probably are not going to be too worried about how much this vehicle is going to cost in game. It's probably going to be a minuscule amount compared to what everything is right now so if you're like on the fence about should i pick this up or not i'd go ahead and wait and a couple of patches maybe even just one patch itself maybe when 4.0 releases you're going to be able to buy this in game and it's probably not going to be i see it being probably less than 200k so it's not something that is, is going to break the bank to get right same thing with the like the argo atlas i recommend if you're on still on the fence about that just buy it in game so let's just dive into this guys let's let me show you kind of what i'm going to use it for and how i'm going to use it so you can see along with let me show you how well it fits in the c1 and the kind of speed that the vehicle actually has all right guys so i want to show you this truck in real time the movement you know the speed that it has so let's check this out right so you can see this is pretty much top speed this is me holding it down all the way so plenty of speed for you guys to drive in to you know any facility any bunker especially holding you know a total of four scu of cargo in this thing right so it's pretty good um it seems pretty stable it, it does slide around a bit so on like probably a rough terrain it's probably going to bounce around and we're going to try that here in just a little bit so getting it into the ship very simple guys it's not hard um we're, we're gonna get in here and let me show you this in real time i just wanted to give you guys a real good idea of how easy it is to get in or out now i've been backing it in but i do find that that uh driving it straight in is just slightly easier so as you can see we are fully in right here you can pull it up a little bit more right about there and let's jump out of this thing. Now again, now I'm on, on the C1. This thing fits on a Cutlass pretty well. And a couple of other ships it fits pretty well. But you can see, you could actually get two of these in here if you want. I would probably fit a couple of extra containers here for bunker looting myself. And maybe an STV for a partner because this is only a one person vehicle so you know having an extra cart uh, maybe a ptv a couple of ptvs or one stv or any other vehicle that you guys dragonflies pulses whatever you guys like hover quads things like that any of that it's going to fit but you can see it fits in the c1 extremely well there is tons of room you just got to be careful not to hit these little edges when you back out you can kind of get it in a bind but that's pretty much the same for any vehicle in this game right now um, it's kind of you know everything's janky we all know it's all janky so just something to be aware of. But yeah, guys, plenty of room in the C1 for the uh, CSB. So next, I'm going to just get into this. We're going to go down to like kind of a bunker, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to end up using this for. We're going to put a couple of containers on this. We're going to take them down. We're going to do a bunker and kind of just show the gameplay of this vehicle, right? I'm not going to make you watch like a full bunker or anything, but I just want to show you like getting the items, you know, off and on the truck and driving back into the ship, things like that. Some actual full gameplay. But yeah, guys, uh, let's jump into that right now. 
Okay, guys, we are here at Lyria. We took a little protect site mission just so I can kind of show you the vehicle and intended use, as I said. So we're going to get in here. You can see, still fits very well. We're going to get these doors closed up. I found that this door in the C1 has actually been closing by itself lately, like when you've been putting up the landing gear. I don't know if that's something new as part of the hotfix or... Or if it's just a glitch right now, it's probably just a glitch is my guess. But yeah, that door has actually been closing in the C1. So we're going to get the CSV off, right? So my suggestion is to land somewhere that is flat. Um, for whatever reason, this thing does not like going on, on and off the ramp um, without damaging it if it's not uh, pretty level. So try to find that level spot if you can. Now you can see I parked a little bit away so we can test out the truck. Now I do have my four SCUs on there. I got two, two SCU containers. So let's jump in this thing and see if we can decently get it out of this vehicle. Now you can see it's jumping around, but uh, that's pretty much every vehicle in Star Citizen when it's on the ship right now. You get the, uh, I don't know, I call them the twitchies. But it's that, that jankiness, right? So yeah, let's get this thing off. Let's see if I can maneuver this well enough okay on this ship you have those little edges and you always want to make sure you stay away from those edges if possible okay so there we go the vehicle is off and just to do a little test here let's uh give it a let's give it a drive around and it actually drives pretty well it does slide a little bit as you can see right there once you get going fast if you hit something unlevel it does want to slide around, which is pretty much expected. Uh, the STV itself, for me, has taken a huge hit uh, as far as like controls go, and it seems to be a lot more just unrealistic. So, yeah, to do these bunkers, guys, uh, what I'm going to use it for is to take these up. We're going to take them up to the front door. We are going to park. And that this is it, guys. This is this is what the intent is. I'm gonna unload it, take it inside, take one down, take both of them down, do some bunkers, loot them, you know, loot everything, get them filled up, and take it back to the sh to the ship. And uh, yeah, you've got a nice little vehicle to do that and get that done with. Now you can see there's bodies all around there, and we've got uh, enemies standing up there that looks a little janky itself. So we're gonna we're gonna get out of here, but we're gonna play this very simple. Now I'm gonna cut to the end of this because th this is not a video on bunkers this is a video on the usefulness of this csv so yeah we're going to take a look at a couple of things as soon as this is done and i'll be right back okay guys so that mission is complete you can see the timer up there now i noticed right up here you can see tons of bodies and this is exactly what makes this vehicle so useful you can see i've got my stuff loaded back up but this is exactly what makes this useful right so you can actually come in here, loot all of these bodies and everything, and just load it up and take them right back to your ship. No more, you know, carrying the S the containers with your tractor beam or trying to worry about getting your ship close or anything like that. So really guys that is it as far as the sh the the vehicle itself goes there is one little thing i did want to show you guys as i'm driving up here to these uh bodies is that this vehicle does come with a fun a couple of fun little little perks right and we're going to take a look at those real fast to end this video off pretty cool little animations getting into the seats not too bad so what we are going to do is take a look at some of these. Now, in this right here, this this the uh, door it says deploy. This is really cool, right? This is actually a neat place to stick your tractor beam gun and you can see where it says place. And that is a really cool feature. You can actually have an a, a backup is probably what I'll use it for, but yeah, put it there, then you can actually retract it and there it is stored. Now you do have your regular components, guys. Um, nothing new here. You're gonna have a few little components for your vehicle, probably you know, uh, engine shields, power, power and shields, but uh, nothing that's like useful at the moment. Back here we have life support, the avionics, um, radar, the fuel ports. The fuel ports. I'm really looking forward to see what they do with that. I wonder if we're gonna actually have to manually fuel our vehicles. 
one day. Um, this is to open the actual cargo bay itself. You don't really need that right now. It's just something extra. I guess they decided to add. As you can just lift the boxes and stuff and put them right over. Um, and, and that's really it. And this is the, the, the another with the rest of your components on the other side. Um, but again, um, nothing that's really super useful at the moment, especially for a vehicle like this. But yeah, guys, that is kind of my review over the CSV. Um, like I said, I find it extremely useful, especially in situations exactly like I was just talking about. We have all this body, all these loots. We can just pop one of these off, throw it back on, and then we're going to just drive to our ship and uh, kind of ride off into the sunset, if you will. Um, I'm going to play around with this, and if something changes in the future, uh, I'll do an update on this. But yeah, for what it's worth, it was a really good, nice little upgrade for you know something that personally I wasn't using. So I upgraded from again from my Pulse to the CSV, and I think it's going to work out well. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you, did you pick one of these up? Are you waiting to just grab this in game? Um, like most of us probably will be, but. Yeah, let me let me know your thoughts on this vehicle. Do you find it like worthless? Do you think this is a really good use for it, or do you think just like we've been doing it with the tractor beam is probably just easier rather than dealing with a whole other vehicle? Thanks, guys. I really appreciate the support lately. The channel has been doing really fantastic. I've been loving the streams. Thank you, guys, um, who participate um, all all the time, all, all weekly. It's super appreciated. And yeah, guys, as always, I will see you on the next video.